Okay, guys, we've got this Mercedes right here. Um, I scanned the car. I printed out the codes list. They had me uh, clone an ECU for this. Uh, what year is this? I'm trying to get the year for you guys. It didn't print out on the paper. It is a 2009 Mercedes ML. And the codes we have, got a lot of them. We got intake manifold, flap switch over, short to ground. We got air pump switch over valve, short to ground. We got a variable intake manifold, switch over valve, short to ground. Uh, three disc thermostat valve, short to ground. There's a lot of short to grounds. Oxygen sensor. Short to ground. Um, these are all the heating parts. So all four auction sensors short to ground. So we should look this up. See if we got, I don't know, maybe a blown fuse or something. Let me look these up. We'll see what's on the diagram. And uh, we'll go from there. Let's see what which kind of ML is this. ML350. Okay, guys. I want to show you guys something. Hopefully you guys can see this. So... I found all our circuits that the car was complaining about, and that is all these right here. So if we zoom in here a little bit, this isn't all data. I brought this up so it'd be easier for you guys to see. But we got auction sensor right here, our other auction sensor, our heating system shut off valve, our air pump switchover valve, we got our power steering regulator valve, our tumbler flap switchover valve, manifold switchover valve. And our three disc um, thermostat, but look, it goes to pin two, and it doesn't tell me where pin two goes. Like I, I went in all data. I mean, I I went in ProDemand. ProDemand shows the exact same thing. Um, I printed out the factory diagrams from uh, this is from all data. So I I underlined all our sensors right here. And you can see these are the coordinates because this is a, a, what do you call it, a, like a track diagram, I guess you call it. So these are the diagrams here from the factory. So let's go to 66 or 58 right here, 58. So these are our auction sensors. And if you look, here's our green. It goes to Z763Z1. The next page, here's our other ones. These are all our other sensors. Because um, they're all labeled right here. It'll tell you what they are. So like Y22. Um, we have to get a Y on the page. Um, it's on the other page. So like Y22 slash 6. Y22 slash 6 is variable intake runner switchover valve. Y22 slash 9. It's our intake switchover valve. So you can see we have, here's our auction sensors. They go to Z7 slash 36Z1. So this goes to Z7, 36Z2. And that goes to Z1. That's our green and red wires. So if we go to this, uh, Z6... Slash 36. Mm, I don't see it on this one. Is it on our other page? No. What was on here though? There was something on here I thought. Oh, I'm sorry. Z7. Sorry. Z7 36. Uh, Z1 and Z2 right here. These It says... 87 M1E connector sleeve. But the problem with that is if I type that in here, uh, what was it? Z, or actually we'll type in circuit 87 to connector sleeve right here. So we'll go to the connector sleeve and then it tells me it's one of these like splices right here. 
So that doesn't help me because I don't know where that goes on the diagram. Like I might be missing something here. Like I tried checking. Let's go back to the vehicle. I tried going under diagrams. Um, let's go to non-OE. I tried going to like power distribution. Uh, power and ground distribution. I think my friend had mentioned fuse 104, but I'm not sure. Let's see if we can find it on here. Because I was asking people for help. 104. Okay, there is no 104. Let's try Protoman. Let's see if Protoman is. I don't search too much on uh, all data. Let's see, power distribution. Fuse. One. Zero. Okay, so there's no 104. This is what, this is what's horrible. Um, can we type connector sleeve? That's the only connector. So this is my problem. This is where I'm stuck. Um, I'm going to have to do some more research. I don't know if I can find where they go. Because, like, we know they go to 36Z1 and 36Z2. Okay, guys. I may have figured out something. So here's our stuff that we got codes for, right? Both of these. And if you look, they both go... They end up splicing together the 36Z1 and 36Z2. And then this comes up and goes to pin five on the F58. F58, let's see, can be here. F58 is the engine compartment fuse and relay box, okay? So I'm hoping I'm making progress here. I could be completely wrong. So here's our other power distribution for our F58. This is our fuse box. Um, I print out the diagram for the front and rear. So we come over here. So we want pin five, right? So here's our pin seven, one, eight, and four. So that isn't it. Let's go to our next page. Five. So here's five on the F58. F58. So right there, this says green. That might be wrong. I saw that pin five. I was hoping that was it. Um, that is green and black. Maybe that ain't it. Let's see. Maybe I missed it. Are we missing a page yet? Um, let's just keep going. Maybe I'm not at it yet. Let's see. I have a bunch of pages. Killing a lot of trees today, guys. Let's see. Is that pin five? No pin five on this one. Good. Next one, pin five. That one's solid red. Pin two. I don't see it, so I guess I'm gonna have to call for more help because it should be in here. See, do we see a red and green wire? I don't even see a red and green wire. I guess I'm gonna have to call and get help again. Let's see what I can find. Oh man, guys, I just got off the phone with all data. I didn't even notice this. I guess they were posted out of order in all the things because 
how this continues over. I didn't even bother to look because all this stuff matched up. But the last page, this would have saved me a lot of work. The last page has it. And it comes up to 104, and I think we're missing 104. We're going to have to get a diagram of the front fuse box. Um, I wonder if it's the same way in Protoman. Let's check Protoman. I wonder if they're all out of order. Yep, that's what it is. They're out of order. Let's see if this will give me a diagram. Let's see, component location. Fuse box, engine compartment. Yep, that's what we need right here. I think we're missing it. Let's print this out. Let's take this over. Printed out a lot of pages to get this. There we go. If that's all we need is a 15 amp fuse, that means they have me clone this ECU for no reason. All because somebody took out a fuse. Yeah, it looks like 104 is missing. Because I think that's 104. Yep, 104, 105, 106. So let me get a fuse. Um, I think it said it was a 15 amp, right? Let me get a fuse. You guys, got our fuse. Oh, we got to plug our ME back in. I was looking to see if we had power on the one circuit, but then I couldn't find the terminal. Um, let me get our covers back on here. Okay, guys, got my scan tool set up. Let's try starting this up. Well, let's see if we uh, get our codes. Just ID in the vehicle. Get that clip back in then. Well, they got a battery light. So they probably have a bad uh probably have a bad uh secondary battery. Usually what the what the light means. go so, so it's just got a report they're all stored now you see that <coughs> it got stored in current there but it might not have uh, it might not have ran the test just do a quick erase hundred codes is normal for Mercedes Oh man, hopefully I'm not dying. It really is amazing how fast this thing scans on some cars.
double check make sure that we can't clear this sometimes modules will set fault codes if it's stored in another one so you clear codes and you gotta clear it again see now they got lower let's try it one more time Yeah, see, we went lower again. We're down to two. Nope, nope, we're still at nine. Okay, so let's, uh... Let's go in our ECU. Did I turn that on? There we go. Trouble codes. Start this up. Let this run for a little. We're gonna put the intake on. But look at that. No more check engine light. They got the battery light. So I'm going to uh I said put that intake on, we'll just let this run. Okay guys, so the car's been running for like, I don't know, probably like 10 minutes now. It seems to be running good. Let me get this. That's annoying. Tapping noise though. But um, they just wanted that fixed. So, we'll go back in the car and we'll scan this once I get this clip on. Flashlight back. I thought this was an interesting one. One of the things that I hate is like sometimes with diagrams, like I can't find what I need or like stuff like that. And I asked like six people to look at that diagram for me and make sure I wasn't missing anything, and nobody noticed that they were out of order. But yeah, no more codes. Look at that. So I'm sure they're gonna get a code with uh, how this thing's tapping. Let's see. But hey, it, uh, it now drives and it didn't need an ECU. Somebody took the fuse out. So I hope you guys like this one. See you later.